the question about this example that we talked about in the review session the other day. Uh, and so what you're trying to find is you're trying to find the induced EMF in this square loop and you're given some information. You're given information about the solenoid. Uh, you're told that the uh, initially the B field is 5 times 10 to the negative 3 Tesla pointing into the page. Uh, and this B field is slowly decreased to zero. And so uh, to do this, what we do is we take uh, the absolute value of the derivative of the flux. And so whatever we get, we just take the absolute value of it. And the flux here is going to be the derivative of B times A times cosine of the angle theta. That's technically the answer. Now cosine theta is just going to be 1 the whole time. So that equals 1, so we can just get rid of it. Uh, and in fact, what actually changes here is the B field. Okay, so we take the derivative of B times A. A stays the same, cosine stays the same, it's 1. And so it's actually dB dt times A, and then also just times 1, but you don't have to actually put that in there. Uh, and so in this particular example, to find dB dt, uh, because it uh, changes, it's uniformly decreased, okay, the derivative is the same thing as delta B divided by delta T. And so to do that, I can just sort of write, you know, B final minus B initial over uh, T final minus T initial. Uh, and if we do this, in this particular case, uh, the final would be 0. Uh, the initial would be 5 times 10 to the negative 3 Tesla. And it's told that the time it takes to do this is 10 seconds. And so you can get the answer here for dB dt. Uh, plug that in there, and then the area is the next part. So the area, so the dB dt, we can plug that in, and the area is going to be oh, just uh, the length of the square square uh, squared. And so over here, all right, so you have this little square, the B field, we only care about the B field that's going through the square, okay? Now if you look at this here, there's actually B field all around in this solenoid, but when we talk about uh, the EMF, uh, the change in the flux, we're talking about the change in the flux through the loop, and so the area we only use is inside the loop. So it's dB dt uh, times L squared for that loop. Uh, and if we uh, do this, you get answer A.